feeling very confident. Confidence is through the roof. Um, I know this is, the magnitude is extremely high, but I feel like this isn't my first rodeo, so I'm looking forward to thriving in that feeling, having a great camp, and giving it my very best coming forward. Dan, you already fought Triple G. How much did that fight hurt you like this? Tremendously. Um, anytime you can go 12 rounds with a guy with an, with an amateur background and, and uh, champion, former champion, the heart and skill of Golovkin, it adds value to you. Whether that's experience or confidence, whatever the case may be, I've definitely gained from the Golovkin fight. What did you learn from the most Mostly? Uh, it's kind of hard to say mostly, but like I said, just experience overall. I've gained different things, but the experience to allow me to go 12 rounds at the highest level. And the confidence, I'm sure, too. Absolutely, I'm into that, yeah. Danny, can you win a decision in Vegas, given the history? We don't know. Um, my job is just going there and do what I have to do. Um, obviously, we want to put attention on the judges to make sure that everybody is accountable for it, like I've said in the past. Um, Canelo is a big entity to the sport of boxing, and he has that effect. Um, but my job, as my trainer said, is to go in there and have the mentality like, you don't get paid for overtime. So if I can make sure that I have a decisive win, win every round, or put it in my hands and create a knockout, that's, that's the game plan. So Andre, as a corner man, are you gonna keep that in mind that if you think you win a round by an inch, you want a yard? In other words, just keep going, just telling them, hey, we're kind of in Vegas, do you keep reminding him that during the fight? Well, of course, we're coming into this fight expecting only the best from what we do, and Danny's gonna be well prepared. He's gonna be. I think the, sorry, not to cut you off. I think the bigger question is why is that even a thing? I mean, if this is the sport of boxing, why are we even acknowledging the fact that if you don't do well, or if you don't, if you win the fight, but if you don't win decisively, then you know you're not gonna get the nod. Like, why is that even a thing? You know what I mean? Why can't this just be a fair sport where the best man wins the fight. I hate the fact that we kind of keep talking about the judges. Should it be a thing, though? It shouldn't be a thing, but no. Do you think it should be, given the, some of the scores that have been right. turned in in high profile oh, I, fights? Absolutely, of, of course, and this is my point, I get it. It, it. it should be recognized now, but it shouldn't be a thing to begin with. I mean, this should be a fair sport where the best man wins, not the best man who has the most influence on the sport. Right, well, that, that, I think that's the point we're making, is that you know the weights, it's very subjective, that if you went around close, the A side, whoever that might be, might get the round. You know that there's different standards for different fighters. That's all we're pointing to. We're not actually I understand exactly. I'm, I'm very aware of what you're pointing to, but I just hate the fact that I think even exists. But knowing that I'm going to go in the fight and try to think and take things into my control and win decisively so that there's no controversy. Because even in my last fight, there was, I mean, my uh, Golovkin fight, there was a lot of controversy whether you thought I won or whether you thought I lost, I'm trying to make it so that there's no controversy. Now those three fights are 160, then Chavez and then Triple D twice. You never fought someone as tall and easy as you. And still, you think that's gonna be a hard combination for him? Absolutely, so I've mentioned in the past that Canelo has fought guys that are bigger, he's fought guys that are faster or better boxing ability, but all of those things in one night, I don't think he's faced before. So I think he has a lot of challenges come in for it. So you're talking about the sport being subjective. How do you fix the problem with the judges? Take things into my own hands, right? But not only that, put spotlight on the judges and put spotlight on the actual uh, situation so that everybody's accountable for it. So if there is a bad decision, then there needs to be something that, uh, there needs to be some action taking place, period. And Danny, uh, I know that uh, the two fights Canelo had the most problems with was Lara and Floyd. And you know they put lateral movement on him yeah. and stuff. But you said we're gonna bang when he wants to bang. But Andre, this is a question for you too: Are you better off boxing uh, from the outside more so than banging in this fight? I think when I when I mentioned the quote that I said before with the bang, if you want to bang, that's just my mentality in general. And I'm so confident that I believe that I would win that exchange if we were to go toe to toe together. So that's what I meant. But yeah, the game we have a game plan. But I'm ready for whatever. That's what I meant. Andre, the only thing I have to make sure is that yeah, that I reel him in because he really wants to smoke this situation out. <laughs> so I have to maintain control and make sure that Danny understands you can win this fight many ways. Uh, he wants to be exciting. He wants to give the fans all that they come to see and their money's worth. And he can do that easily. 
but I just want to make sure that he does it safe. Yeah, it's part of that. Sense. It's part of that. That also, when you talk about your bang, when he is that you're, there's going to be moments in the fight where you really want to leave an imprint. Yeah. Even, you know, you, you don't want to just win the round. But, Absolutely. Yeah. That's what. I, that's what I mean. I want to leave every round to where they say, oh, to where either the fans or the judges say he did something spectacular or something big. Whether it was a, high, a highlight that we can go to or whether it was a sick combination, whatever it is, I want to be able to do that every round, opposed to just going to the game plan, using my lateral movement, boxing, the things that I know I can win with. So now that you've spent you know, a bunch of time with Canelo on the road, Mexico, New York, what's your take on him as a person? He's a great guy. Take nothing away from him. He's an extremely humble, nice guy. Um, have great conversations every time I'm with him. His team are uh, res very respectful. This has been a great press tour for me, a uh, great experience for me. Um, nothing bad to say about the guy whatsoever. I'm just looking forward to uh, what he has to offer me for. What does he have to bring in the ring? What does he have to offer in the ring? We have yet to see, only time what will tell. What do you see in him? What is, Andre, what do you see in his style? He, he's consistent, he's a really good counter puncher. Um, takes a good shot. Those are all the traits he's going to have to definitely have to deal with Daniel and McCoy. And that's not going to be enough. Daniel, with him being in two close fights with Triple G and you obviously being in a closely contested fight, are you using the promotional tour to also call attention to bad scorecards where if you for somehow 100%, yes. all victim to this? 100%. And it's not, country. and I mean, I know Canelo alluded to me saying, me making excuses, but. It's really not making excuses, it's bringing attention to an issue. If it's not an issue, then tell me it's, an, it's not an issue and I won't go forward. But we know through the history of boxing and through the history of Canelo's career, it has been an issue. So for me bringing attention to it, it's not me complaining. Because I truly in my heart feel like I can beat Canelo. And so, and what are you gonna, what are gonna be your main takeaways from Triple G's performances having faced him as well too? What are you gonna be picking and taking away from that and kind of evolving into your own game plan? Very little, because in both fights, there was two different styles of Canelo. So we don't know what style is gonna show up uh, come May 4th. So I'm just gonna be the best that I can be, implement my game plan, make adjustments if need be, but I think the bigger issue is him trying to figure out what all I bring to the table. What do you think he's guessing? I have no idea, like I said, I, it's one of those things you gotta find out once you actually go through the process. And um, he's a talented guy, uh, I've, I've seen him, make small adjustments at time, but to me, he fights too much in spurts. And the mentality that I have, I'm gonna to wanna to fight every second of every round. Danny, yeah. you've been on record to say you thought Golovkin won both fights. I think I read a tweet from- I did say that, yeah. Yeah, that it seems to have really bothered Canelo. Why do you think it keeps him so much? I have no idea. I mean, because I think he's given me credit for beating Golovkin. He's, he's been on record saying that he thought I won the fight. And for me, not giving him the credit for beating Golovkin, I think that's probably where the fuss is. But, I'm sorry? How did you score those fights? I thought the, the first fight was Canelo, um, excuse me, Golovkin by unanimous decision. And I thought the second fight was Golovkin by split decision. Or it could have been a draw. Did you actually score them or you just like I them? I actually scored them. Yeah. When you spend that much time traveling... Can somebody get their phone, please? When you spend that much time traveling with each other, you are adversaries. Do you, what do you talk about? Do you even have casual conversations with each other? Or are you just occupying the same space? We have casual conversations, and there's been times where uh, we've run into each other's path numerous times. I mean, it's always love and respect, and that's what I appreciate about not only this fight, about this press tour and just being around to know because. He's a, he's a stellar guy, you know. He's not like one of these guys where before we've had controversy and there's been a little bit of drama. I like to pride myself with being respectful, especially respectful to the opponent who I step in the ring with. So the fact that it's uh, it's reciprocated, I appreciate that. You've already been on this kind of stage with a lot of fight. You haven't done this kind of press tour. You've done Mexico, New York, LA. Uh, are you enjoying it? What's it like? It's been a phenomenal experience. And, for me, this is everything that a fighter wants to gravitate towards at this particular stage in his career. Uh, it comes with the territory, so I know it's deserving because I'm a champion. And fighting another champion of this caliber, I know this is what's to be expected. But 
I've just been enjoying every process, every moment, and soaking it all in. Even though you're already a champion, you've been a uh, big game of boxing for a long time. Do you feel like now you're really, truly arriving, doing this kind of stuff? Well, here's the thing. There's levels to this game, and I understand that Canelo is the peak of, of, of superstar when it comes to boxing. I mean, he just signed the biggest contract in boxing as far as uh, the numbers go, so he's a, he's a, he's a figure. He's a, he's a big figure in the sport. And I know that I had to elevate myself to that level. And I know a victory over Canelo, a decisive victory, will get me in that direction. Is that, is that what's pushing you really more than anything right now? You see you can be a big guy? What's pushing me is just to simply be the best that I can be and having another man inside the ring not being the victor over me. I want to hurt every person that's in that ring. When I look, when that bell rings and I'm looking across the ring, that person wants to stop me from feeding my family. That person wants to stop me from fulfilling my dreams. So anything that I have to do to stop that and prevent that, I'm gonna do that with mean intentions. Does it, does it like Mike was saying though, building off that, does it mean something to you to be like that crossover, transcendent uh, boxing star, the guy that, you know, will get all the guys yelling at well, here's the thing. Because you have the ability to connect with everyone, at least in your life story. Right, absolutely. And that's why I'm grateful for it because my life and my story uh, resonates with a lot of people throughout the world. So I'm not worried about becoming a bigger star or a big... That's really not my, my, my focus. My focus is to become the best champion inside the ring because I'm already, in my opinion, uh, uh, the best person outside of the ring. And I set a great example for those that follow the same footsteps, especially people that come from my neighborhood. I give a lot of inspiration and hope to those guys. So I'm doing my job on that aspect. Everything else is really not in my control. And, and you know, because a big fight like this, sometimes it spurns the fighters on to talk trash to sell the fight. Is, the, is there no chance of that with you and Canelo? And do you think that's a good look for the sport? I don't, when, yeah, when, I, I, it's not who I am. I mean, I've done it before because of the, the, the opposition. It was in them. And if you want to be about it, I'm about it at the end of the day. But truly who I am as a person, I like to show respect. I like for the fans to see that as fighters, being that we always have uh, uh, negative things that's placed on us based off the past, whatever the case may be. I want to show and be a stand-up guy for the sport and represent the sport the right way. Because when we step outside the door, we're not just representing ourselves. We're representing everybody, everybody in this whole column. Well, does it mean a little extra to have a big marquee fight in Vegas on single day my weekend? Yeah, because I mean, that's that's been, for the history of time, for a long period of time, that's been the weekend for the biggest sport, uh, for, for the biggest boxing events. Floyd Mayweather took it over, then Canelo, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. But I'm coming in there with intentions to win. I'm not just happy to be a part of this event.